Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a back to school haul for you guys. So we went to Walmart and Staples and we just got all the things that the kids needed. At the end of the school year, go through all your kids things and just make a note of all the things that they need replacing or have run out. When I wait till September, they tend to forget what it is that um, they thought about something. So for example, if I bought a sharpener but it didn't sharpen very well, they kind of tend to forget that by September. Um, so we do that in the beginning of July. We did that this year and it worked out great. I made a note of it and when I was gone going to the store and we were going through stuff, I was able to get the things really quickly. So. Let's jump right into the video. I have quite a few things to show you guys. So the first thing that I got was this um, protractor set by Hillroy. It is at Walmart. Um, I believe we paid uh, $4.99 for it, something like that. And my son has a set like this already. This is more for my daughter who will be starting grade four this year and um, they will need a protractor set. So uh, next I bought these pencil crayons. These are the regular um, pencil crayons for um, by Crayola. They were 277. Okay, so I just got two of those. Okay, and now I also bought these Crayola erasable pencil crayons. So these are the pencil crayons, you can write with them, and they have erasers at the, at the um, end of them, and you can erase with these. So they are Crayola erasable colored pencils, and they also come with a sharpener, but in my opinion, this sharpener doesn't work that great. Um, I don't know, that's just in my opinion, but that's that and they were $5.77 for these so these are a little bit more on the pricier side but if your child likes or you like to have crayons that you know you can erase or write with even and then be able to erase with them this is great so this is for my older daughter the one that's going into grade 4 she loves these pencil crayons now the only thing I have to say with these pencil crayons uh, the erasable ones are that they write a little bit lighter they color a little bit lighter so if your child likes that more vibrant um, color like dark um, rich color when they write you know they could see the color right away and it's not um, you know they don't have to color over it like two or three times in order to get the color that they see on the barrel or the uh, lead then this might not be for you but if you don't mind the lighter color, then this these are a great option. Then I bought these sharpeners um, by Stedler. Now they had a sharpener before. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is just like the metal sharpener. We're gonna try this one out. So I bought two of those. Uh, because my younger daughter already has a sharpener and it's like a character one Sophia, but it works really well It's um, but it's from the Disney art set from the Disney store. So um, Just a little tip the Disney store art set is a really good set to get Okay, then I got these pencils so my daughter who's starting grade 4 wanted these blue jay pencils and it's got the nice little pink one in the middle so I really like that but uh, she wanted those and I don't remember the price of these so um, if I could find the links I'll link them down below from where I got them from Walmart and um, and then you guys can check it out um, I don't know if they have them on Amazon but you can check it out then I got a Fiskars um, kids safe scissors and you can see it's rounded at the top um, so I just I like to get uh, scissors for them. Um, the teacher usually likes to have their scissors. The teacher has some scissors on hand, but it's nice that they have their own scissors that they can just whip out and use and keep in their pencil case. Then 
I also got these glue sticks. Um, these are just the uh, Elmer's glue sticks and they were what's on sale and these were 97 cents for two inside. I already have one um, that I bought last year sometime during the year and I have that left over so I don't need to get that but that is um, so I only need two erasers um, so I really like these ones these are the pearl uh, white eraser so that's that <clears throat> then I bought this pencil case and I don't know if it's showing up in the video but it's gorgeous it's like this metallic print and let's see if I can get it to show up but it's like roses so the gold print is like roses but it's really pretty it is a binder a pencil case but when my daughter saw this and when I saw this I thought it was really beautiful and she really wanted it so um, I decided that would be fine for her Okay, and so let's move on to the book type of thing. So I bought these exercise books um, for my kids. These are the Casemate, um, I guess, what do you call it? One subject notebooks. They're just the notebooks with the line inside. So I bought the neon pink. Uh, so I bought two of each color. So two of the neon pink, there you go, two of the blue, and two of the green, and it is plain on the front, as you can see, but they can decorate it with stickers and um, whatever they like to put on it, or decals. Um, we have some vinyl decals that I think can work on this, but if not, they can put stickers on them. So I bought those, and I believe they were uh, 67, 77 cents or 67 cents, something like that. So really good buy. Okay, then I got these sheet protectors. I bought a whole bunch of them. These are now are more for me, but it's a great time to stock up on them. There are 10 inside. They were 97 cents and uh, they're the Casemate brand. Um, so I am gonna be doing a few projects um, around for the Howl home. And so I needed sheet protectors and I thought since they're, this is the back to school time and I'm doing back to school shopping, I might as well get them. So I bought those for myself. So those projects are coming up. Now, these are, thermoses okay so I bought these Stanley thermoses I know they look work whatever like they're not the prettiest thing but my kids um, wanted these my son wanted this because he didn't care how it looked he just wanted to have a bigger thermos where he could take a little bit more food I do tend to pack leftovers and hot lunches for them and so this comes in handy and so this is a good size for him. It's actually maybe a little, uh, like I wouldn't be able to fill it up all the way for him because it might be a lot. However, um, I think over the years this will last and then over the years he can um, have that. It will grow with him kind of thing. Now I bought one also for my daughter because she also likes to um, have a good size lunch. So I bought that for her and she can also grow into that. So they're both, and they were $16.94 or $16.97. So they are the Stanley Utility Hot um, Food Jar, and it's 18 ounces. Okay, so just in case you guys want to get that. Now, like I said, I'll link everything down in the description box below if I can find the links. So just check down there for them. Okay, then I bought the I saw these water bottles and I love these stainless steel water bottles. They um there's not any particular brand, but I just like the stainless steel ones because they keep the water cool. And this one's really lightweight and it's got like a spout up here. You guys can see that. Uh, okay. 
And so I bought one in the blue for my older daughter, one in silver for my son, and a third one for my youngest in this kind of berry color. Okay. Now next thing, the last thing I bought for lunches um, is this Hello Kitty lunch bag. It's by Hayes. Um, I find this particular style in Hayes to be very good quality and works very well. So it opens at the top. So here we go. Here, so you can put your thermos in there. Um, I have the packaging still in there. But you can put your thermos in there. Um, this one even fits in there. Um, you just have to kind of put it um, on the middle part, like the top where the arch is the highest, and it fits along with a little juice. There's reusable juice bottles with the straws. Um, so it has a place to put their name at the back, write your name. The bottom also opens here, okay, and it opens up, and they can put um, those um, lunch sandwich containers in here. Um, you can also put um, fruit in a bowl if it, you know, if your sandwich container isn't that big. So it's a really good bag and I find that it lasted from, my son has a Star Wars one that has lasted for two years and this will be the third year that he's going to be using it and I find it's really well made. Um, it doesn't get snagged on the zipper like the zipper doesn't get snagged on the inside if you guys know what I mean like some of those lunch boxes a lot of them we've had snag on the insulation part on the inside so this one's pretty good for that doesn't do that okay I also picked up a goodie brush I believe these were $9.99 I just love the design on it though and uh, but more I was looking for this part like it wasn't too close together and you know it was nice and um, smooth here so it wouldn't get caught in my daughter's hair because my older daughter has pretty thick hair and so we needed something to pass through it so I think this one will work really well okay then I bought these um, goodie brand slide proof hair holders in different colors my older daughter has to use these because although her hair is thick it's very silky um, like mine and things just hair ties just do not stay in them so we need to have these special ones that have like the rubber it has like this rubber kind of thing on them so you know it stays in their hair and I believe I paid $5.97 or $4.99 or something like that so it's not a bad price and for the quality that you're getting I think it's it's worth the money okay then I also got this um, pencil case it's emojis from Staples this is from Staples I believe it's two ninety eight or no, sorry five five dollars I think it was. But I bought it because um, my daughter wanted some emoji things, and I thought, okay, um, I don't mind getting the pencil case um, that she wants. And this is from Meringue or by Meringue, the company. And yeah, so that's that's it. Basically, it is a uh, binder pencil case. I also bought this pencil emoji rainbow emoji pencil. This is also from Staples and it is a by meringue. Okay and I believe these were two dollars something like that two dollars two ninety eight Okay, then I also bought some school glue. This is Elmer's school glue. This is just to keep at home. They will have the glue sticks at school, but this will be for home. And I believe it was 97 cents. So really good buy on that. Um, then I went ahead and bought these Avery Ultra tabs. These are tabs that you stick on. You can stick them on to sheet protectors, um, pages, just 
you know, just about whatever you want. So I bought these for the project that I am going to be doing. And they involve the, the ones that involve the sheet protectors. Okay. Then I also bought this Avery Zigzag, or what do you call these? Avery Design Collection Binders, and they are zigzag. Yeah. And I really like this binder. Um, it feels very sturdy. It's a one inch binder. I started using it already, you can see. Um, but it's um, very well made. It's got like the pocket here in the back and also one in the front, you know, if you want to slip some uh, paper in there. And I really love the design, uh, especially since um, this will kind of be, um, you know, my husband might be using this binder as well. So I uh, bought this because I'll be doing a um, parent school binder. And so look for that video coming soon. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is this calendar. So this is a fridge calendar. It's by Motherword and they make two sizes. So this size is for the um, side by side, like the side fridges. So if you have uh, the French door fridge kind of thing, this can work. Um, they also sell a bigger size. Um, so it's like, um, I guess a little bit bigger than this and then when it opens out it opens out like you know kind of like I guess one and a half the size of this one so I opted for this smaller size this is good enough for us and I have been using this calendar since my son started school that would be uh, five six seven years ago and every year I use this calendar. It uh, is really good. It has big spots for you to write things in and um, just keep your family organized with appointments and different activities and stuff going on at school. This has been a lifesaver for me. And I like having a fridge calendar because everyone, if they wanted to, now they don't always, but if they want to, they could go on the calendar and check what's going on for the week or for the day or, or the month or whatever. And um, so I typically tend to fill this out at the beginning of every month and just populate it with everyone's things. Now, when I do get the calendar, I go through first and put everyone's birthdays in our immediate family and our extended family that, you know, is close to us. We put their birthdays in here. And then if there's any dates that I know of, I go ahead and put them in as well. But generally, I tend to wait when the school com calendars come in. I go in and I write all the dates, um, you know, PA days and special days going on, holidays and things like that. I go in and I write it into the calendar. So as I get the dates, I write it into this calendar basically and it has been a lifesaver to keep me organized now um, I do have a planner this year so um, this is mainly for family things so I try not to crowd this too much with my personal things my personal deadlines and things that I need to do or my to do's or anything like that that's not what this is for this is basically to keep my family in the know and keep them organized as well as um, just a quick reminder of the important things going on for my kids and you know myself and my husband so that's it guys that's my haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys found something useful if you guys are still doing your back-to-school shopping you could take a look into one of these products like I said I'll link all the things down below um, for the products that I can find uh, links to um, but that basically the haul so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up and please go ahead and subscribe I do hauls and my on my channel hauls clean with me videos um, kids DIYs DIYs for the home and just anything to do with home and being a mom and the mom lifestyle 
take care guys and until next time be well on your journey to home sweet home bye